Good morning, everybody. Well, actually, it's afternoon, but welcome to our ranch here in beautiful Mexico. So, I just made rice, beans, and at the little tienda this morning, they had really fresh bun. Hi, buddy. You want a torta? Oh, sure. Okay. Okay, Cristiano has his friend here right now, and they want to go play outside, so he's asking me if he can lock the dogs. So I told them, yes, it is raining out, so the kids actually have a lot of fun when it's raining out here. Um, but I bought such fresh, good pan from the tienda, so I'm going to make Annabella torta right now, and then I made Mexican rice, frijoles con queso. All right, you guys, we have some rice. And I made beans this morning, and this is our clay pot, and for some reason they just taste better in here. You guys, so I talk a lot about how things here in Mexico on our rent are um, pre-packaged. Like, 99% of food here is not pre-packaged. And this bun right here that I'm going to make her torta with does not come packaged either. It comes straight from the bakery in the morning, and then they put it into, you grab the ones you want. They were hot this morning. Um, you grab the ones you want, they put it in a bag, and you bring it home. Sorry, Annabelle's a little loud in the background. She's talking to her dad on FaceTime right now. She's um, mad at her teacher about something, and she always calls her dad, and he babies her so bad, you guys. But I'm just going to take our fun. Oh, my gosh. I wish it just... It just hits, it's like um, in the United States, like Panera. It's like if you could get the freshest Panera bread every day. And this is probably like, I think they're 10 cents. But I just open it up and I'm going to put it down here on the pan to heat up a little bit. Um, and then I have a couple more things. So this morning I made some onions with banana pepper and limon. And my kids love these. Uh, they're just pickled onions. My kids love it on everything, and I put fresh garlic in there, so it's actually really good for them. It's almost like a probiotic. All right, so I need some. Once, once I was, I don't know what I like to do. The moisture was messing with, um. talking so loud in the background. Okay, you guys, so we have some rice, beans, and then you know I love my Mexican cheese. This is fresh too. This isn't packaged. They cut it straight from the round wheel. It comes from the Crimeria. You tell me you want like 50 pesos and they give it to you. And I am just going to sprinkle this over um, the beans. All right, you guys. And I'm going to show you how I assemble her torta. We don't have meat every single day, and a lot of people in the ranch do not have meat every single day. So today, we are just doing, and what Annabelle will do is, she'll dip some of this torta bread into her beans as well. And let's get out some of our onions. All right, and then I'm gonna, Annabelle loves the juice in here. I'm scared she'll drink it. So I'm just gonna pour some on top, just like that. All right, you guys, here is Annabelle's lunch. And Christian was playing with his friend, but he'll want the same thing. Penelope will probably just want fawn and some rice, and Abby is not quite out of school yet. I don't know if you're gonna eat the whole torta, are you? All right, first bite says it all. <laughs> so good. So good? Mm -hmm. Do you want more of the sauce on it or no? Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought you would. Annabelle wants more of the onion sauce. I'm gonna need a lot. Right, can you do this for me? I don't know if that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, open your door that. A lot. This is done. Stop. Okay, good. You can't take all the juice out of there. Those stinker. So good. You know it's good if she starts dancing. Annabelle. 
Annabelle loves it, you guys. All right, you guys. Well, Annabelle's finishing up eating. I have to go get some laundry put away. And then as soon as all the other kids come back in, I'm going to finish lunch for the other kids. Is Annabelle's always with me. All right, you guys. So I bought these clay pots out in Ocotlan. They smell like clay. They smell like clay, don't they? They are so beautiful. They are hand-painted. Is it to, to and, put drinks in? Yeah. And then this is going to be... Now, this won't be all of the centerpiece, but you know how pe people take the centerpieces home. I didn't want it to be like cheap plastic or I wanted it to be something special, something they would use. So these are um, clay pots and then we have this one. And then I have a gold picture frame right here. Um, and then that will have at one of Abby's quince photos in it. And then we're gonna have red roses coming out of here. So I think it just looks so cute, you guys. And I feel like it really matches her chata theme. All right, you guys, so that's just a little bit of the centerpiece for the quinceanera. There's gonna be more added to it, so it, it won't be just plain like that, but I feel like it will be something special. I'm not even gonna take that out. <laughs> but I feel like it will be something special for the quinceanera. Also, Abigail started practice yesterday. Annabelle sat out there for the whole entire practice. What did you think? Beautiful. Beautiful. They had a rough time at first, but it was their first practice. But they had a lot of fun, you guys. Like, it warmed my heart to see all of them just giggling and laughing. And it's just such a good friend group to be in the quince with her. And it's also very special. We get to have her quinceanera here on our rancho because... My daughter's, it would be her great, great, great grandfather founded this ranch um, with a couple other men. And I don't know, it just makes it extra special, you guys. She gets to have her quince in Mexico um, with her family, and she knows Spanish. My children did not know Spanish coming here. Not even, they, know, they knew hola. I think that was it. They knew hola and maybe agua. That was it. And now my daughter has been here long enough, all my kids, that they can communicate and they understand. And it was just a goal. It was something I really, really wanted for them. She's coming back Wednesday. Why? <laughs> oh, here comes Christian and his friend. They're using their um, water bead guns in the backyard. All right, you guys, so I'm just waiting for Abby get, to get out of school. She gets out a little bit later than the other kids, um, but school here in Mexico is only four hours long. For Abby, who is in the middle school, it's five hours. So that's something really cool. The kids love that, and I really love it. I feel like the kids are thriving better having only four hours of school. It's funny because when I tell people here in the ranch, like in the United States, school is eight hours, <laughs> they... um. They think that's like wild. They're like, there is no way my kid could sit through eight hours of school. And I'm like, well, and we bring our kids up their lunches and we sit with them. And I'm like, and you can't bring them lunch and you can't sit with them. And it's like hard for them to understand the other moms. They're like, how can that even be possible? And I'm like, I don't know. But I was like, my kids love it here so much. I'm gonna wait for Abigail at school. We're gonna go feed the animals. We're gonna take a siesta, um, and then we're gonna go for a nice evening walk if it's not raining. He's home. Time to go do animals. Come on, pumpkin. All right, you guys, look at the beautiful. I love to take photos when the clouds are like this. It's just, but my camera's broken, so <sighs> that's okay though. But it's still, the clouds are beautiful. Oh. <laughs> I want to show you guys the ducks because they're sleeping, but they the babies are snuggling into each other. Oh, there they go. Oh, look at them snuggling into each other. I think it's because of how cold they are. Yeah. You guys, these are like the most adorable ducklings in the whole entire world. And they just, they just roam the yard and jump in the pond. They're living their best duckling life. They're not life. normal ducks. They jump into everything. Yeah, they get into everything. They're very, very mischievous. Like, we have to keep checking on them and make sure they're not in trouble. So, part of living on a homestead, on a farm, whether it is sunny or raining, whether you're feeling good or not feeling good, you have to come take care of your animals. 
Um, and it is so muddy out right now, but we're gonna get it done as quick as we can. We're gonna let baby go out for a bit. Oh, she runs, come on baby. All right, so we let baby goat out, but baby goat loves Abigail, and when Abigail gets out here, the baby goat's gonna run to her. Oh my gosh, here she goes. Baby goat is always so curious when we come to feed the chicken, she'll run in there. Hey, baby! 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 Oh my goodness, why's your wild baby go? Hey! <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, look at her. Look at the little horns she's getting. Aren't those the cutest little things ever? He sees Abby coming. Oh, there she goes, Abs. Feeding the animals in her chincletas. No better way. All the muck boots I have for you guys, and you still wear your chingletas out here. Hi, baby goat. We love you. <laughs> you guys, the baby goat is so funny because. When the horse came into our backyard, baby goat didn't notice and we let her out and, and she started to walk closer to it. And the minute that horse moved, baby goat like screamed and ran for us. It was the cutest thing ever. Like she did not know what it was. And it's just funny that she ran for us like that. Abby swears she can't bend down because her legs hurt from dance class. You have to do like the princess bow. Abby, it was only two and a half hours of practice. Wait, there's pigs. Let me grab all the pigs. There's like five pigs. Okay, go grab the pigs. Oh wow, they're fresh right now. Cute. They're so cute, pumpkin. Okay, I'll come videotape it right now. Hold on. Abby, look at we gotta fix this. The thing fell. Probably from the wind right here. The little howler. That's it. Let me see what they look like. These are my kids. This is our fig tree, and my kids love figs. They come out here and pick them all the time. Alright, come on. Oh, baby! Why we bother you so much? Abs, you have to feed the dogs and then you're all done. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, pick up the cup too, honey, please. You guys, look at them. We have to name them Annabelle. Funny how like baby goat just watches us all day and like just runs around. She could graze and she just wants to like run around with us all day. I know I seen them. I'm a glass book on your trash. It doesn't know what to think about the duck. Loves, we keep this wood thing come right on. here because that goat loves going up and down that piece of wood. Come on, come on, let's go play. There she goes. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, the chicken, the chicken. <laughs> hey, baby. Hi. Can I see what the fig looks like? Can mm -hmm. you see the inside? Oh, beautiful. She won't eat it. She just smells it, but she doesn't eat it. Oh, you guys, look at this was um, one of the centerpieces at a quinceanera when Abby was just a baby. I remember going to that, and Grandma Hilda brought it home. She just smells it. She won't eat it. Oh, but she always goes across that piece of wood board. That is so funny that she does that. No. Hi, baby. 
And look at the little babies over there playing in the little pond. They have been so yes, happy. The water was so shallow, and the duck was like this, trying to swim in it, but it couldn't. Oh. It is cloudy, but the sun is starting to. The sun is starting to come out. Come on, baby. Um, but I'm gonna head inside because Penelope, I think, has an ear infection, and it's so crazy because Cristiano just had one, and then this morning Penelope's like, my ear hurts. So I'm gonna go put the onion on her ear with a pot. Mom, she's not. I'm gonna put um, a piece of onion right here, and then I have a sock that I fill with rice, and then I warm up the rice, it's uncooked rice, and I put the onion, and then I put the warm sock underneath, and that helps pull out any icky stuff in her ear, but also I have medicine for her. So I'm gonna get Penelope settled, I'm gonna make Cristiano a torta, and then we are gonna take a siesta and go for a nice walk. All right, you guys, I'm gonna start with some sliced pieces of jamón. I also have un tomate. I might put a little beans on top, um, the jamón, some queso, achuga. It's gonna be really good. All right, so I put the tomatoes on top because I like to fry up the tomatoes a little bit. It just gives it a good taste. Like, you know the salsa taste and the mocajete, um, when they kind of burn the edges, it tastes so good like that. So I just like to put it on top of this ham and mix it up a little bit. All right, you guys, so we are gonna take a little bit of beans and spread it on the inside. And these are just beans I had from today. Then I'm gonna put, it looks so good, nice and charred. I wish you guys could smell how good it smells to have beans on top of pan, kimon, all of it. Oh, it just smells so good. All right, he is getting the last of my queso de mesa. you guys look at that he is going to love it and I am very very ready for a siesta so I know the girls are not they have been wild all day but I'm gonna go take a siesta with them and then I'm gonna try to convince them to go for a walk with me but we'll see how that goes Is that so good or what? Mm -hmm. Bomb. Bomb. All right, bud, I'm gonna go take a siesta. Love you. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, I'm just getting up from siesta and um, I wanted to go for a walk, but the little girls are watching like Spanish videos. They are sick of the rain, so they do not want to go out in the rain and into the mud. But I really want to go see if they're selling elote and I just wanted to go for a short walk. I really don't like um, being cooped up in the house. Like, I love our CSs and stuff, but I really, even if the kids don't go for a walk, I have to go for, like, a quick 10-minute walk, and it just feels refreshing. Somebody is cooking outside under a fire, and it smells so good right now. It always smells good in our ranch. Like, everybody's always cooking around the same time. It just smells amazing. All right, you guys, and this is our church. Each ranch, each little town has its own church. Normally, it's like the plaza and then the church is right next to it. And people have um, been donating to build up this church the last probably like 20 years. And I wanted to go in and show you guys, but it's locked, which normally it's not, so maybe I'm gonna have to wait till Sunday to go show you guys. Oh my gosh, I give this little street dog um, hot dogs at night all the time. Look at him. Oh. Hi, buddy. I don't have anything right now. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am back from my walk and I grabbed one of our favorite snacks. We didn't have any elote tonight, um, so, oh, Annabelle grabbed the bag. 
but they have a brand of chips here that are jalapeno chips. I don't know if they sell it in the States or not. It's one of my favorite here. And I grabbed the pickled onions um, and the queso de mesa and we put it together, so good. Okay, so these are what the chips look like. And I'm gonna have Annabelle bring out the bag in just a second. But I put a little bit of queso de mesa and a little bit of the pickled onions. And it is just so wonderful. Mm. That is so, so good. Put a couple of pickled onions. And the more pickled onions you can fit on the top, the better. Mm. So good. This is one of our favorite snacks here. All right, you guys, so I don't think the kids are gonna go to the plaza tonight, um, and I definitely couldn't convince them for a walk. So it is just a cozy, rainy day, which we don't have a lot of here. So I'm gonna take advantage of it, and that snack was so delicious. I'm gonna put a photo right here of what the chips look like that I get here in Mexico, and I'm not sure if they sell them in the States or not. Maybe they do. If they do, let me know. But I hope all of you have a really good night. And please, please, please comment and let me know where you're from. I love hearing from you guys. It's one of my favorite things. And thank you everybody who supports and loves our family. Also, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments because I like to answer them during my vlog. But everybody have, oh, the little girls in the back. I don't know who you're near. But everybody have a really good night.